my name is Samantha. If you are new to my channel, my channel is all about helping and inspiring special education teachers. So if that interests you, make sure to click the subscribe button and hit the little bell to be notified whenever I make a new video. Also, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Let's get into it. Today's video is all about helping you guys with fraction activity ideas. All of the activities I'm going to be talking about are linked down in the description of this YouTube video. In my classroom, I kind of only stick to basic fractions. So for example, I like to teach whole, halves, thirds, and quarters. Here I have a fraction drag and drop activity that I'm going to share with you guys. You can put this on your smart board and have students take turns dragging and dropping the correct answers, or you can also have students complete these on their own devices. So here's one of the first slides. You will have students determine what the fraction is of this shape. The answer is two thirds, so you'll drag the circle down to the two thirds and you will move the X down to one fourth because it is not one fourth. Here is our next drag and drop slide. So students will determine what this shape is. The answer is one third. So students will drag and drop the one and the three to make the fraction one third. Next is a true or false slide. And this so happens to be true. So those are some examples of the drag and drop activity that you can do with your students. The next activity I'm going to share is task cards. I, whoops, I absolutely love task cards and because there's so many uses for them. And if you've watched some of my, some of my other videos, you've probably seen that I love to use task cards as a scavenger hunt. Here's a recording sheet. What I do, I hide the task cards around the classroom. I tape them on the walls or hide them under things or whatever I wanna do. And students go around the room and they will answer the questions on this recording sheet. Next, you guys know that I love to do cut and paste. So here are two different levels. This is whole and halves, and this is whole, halves, thirds, and quarters. Cut and paste. Students love those and it's great for their fine motor skills. The next game I'm going to show you is this or that. This game gets students up and moving out of their seats, so that's why I love it. So students will go to the side of the room that matches the correct answer to what this shape is. The answer is two thirds, so students will move to that side of the room. And we'll just flip through a few other slides. This is how it looks. The next game I'm going to show you is Kaboom. I have a whole video explaining how to play Kaboom. So I'm just gonna click through these slides here so that you can kind of see how the game goes. So the students will name the fraction, and then if they get a kaboom, they lose their turn. Again, you can grab this game in the description of this video. Next, I have some matching worksheets, and you can put these on your smart board, or you can just have students complete them independently as a packet. Here is a classroom favorite. This is tic-tac-toe. Here are the tic-tac-toe cards, so students will name the fraction, and then they can put their X or their O on. Um, it also incorporates social skills since you're having students work to play against each other. You can do this one on your smart board too if you want to do it as a whole class activity or have students take turns playing up at the smart board. I love getting my students engaged with as many strategies as possible. Here are some coloring worksheets. You will have students color the fraction in. This is a really good review activity or it's fun to do as a whole class too when you're first teaching the topic of fractions. Along with my cut and paste worksheets, I also have digital activities that are drag and drop too. So here you'll have students drag and drop the correct answer. So for example, they would drag and drop three fourths into the first box. So that's kind of another fun activity that my students like to do. I have two more things. Here is a packet that students can do, which is just filling in the blank with the correct fraction. And lastly, our exit tickets. You guys know I love to give exit tickets at the end of every class period to check for understanding. And I use it as an incentive for a five minute break for my students who might have some tough behaviors. So I use it as a motivator. I hope you guys got some great activity ideas. Everything is linked in the description of this video. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Facebook under Activiteach and go ahead and join my Facebook groups too if you are needing some support. So always check out the description of my YouTube video because there is so much included down there that could really benefit you. And as always, there are some free math worksheets in the description of this YouTube video too. All right, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Happy teaching.